Welcome back to Proxam, everybody, and today we're going to be talking about how to paint Eldari Ranger cloaks like a pro in seven easy steps. So this is actually not my work at all. I'm <laughs> at best a novice painter, but this was done by somebody in the channel's discord. And when I saw this for the first time, it just absolutely blew my mind because I thought it was so cool. And the way he did it was so easy that I just absolutely had to show you guys. So these were actually done by Tom in our channel discord and he goes by the name of Swig. He actually also has an Instagram page with all of his work on it. So if you can, you know, go by, check that out, follow him on Instagram and support a player in the community who is trying to show us the tips and tricks on how to become better painters and make our models look really cool on the battlefield. And if this is something you guys would like to see on this channel more, you know, painting tutorials done by members of the community or photos or anything like that, please do let me know in the comment section. I'd really like to get your feedback on this and see if this is something we can do more going forward. Because I would absolutely love to, you know, help support players in the community who are making a real difference for their community. So without further ado, let us go ahead and dive right into the video. So quick overview of what we're going to be looking at today. I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy painting tutorial done by Tom and posted on the channel's Discord. So just once again, I know I already mentioned this, but... I did not do any of this work. None of this work is mine. This is completely Tom's and it belongs entirely to him. And the process by which he has done it is also entirely his. So if you do want to support him, his Instagram is Tom at Stwig Paints or dot paints, I should say. And you guys can go ahead and give him a follow. And he has tons of stuff on his Instagram. I checked it out this morning and he has an absolute ton of different showcases and stuff like that for the Eldar and also some Corsairs and things like this. So yeah, if you do appreciate his work or if this tutorial helps you, definitely give him a follow. All right, so you are going to need some supplies to go ahead and do this technique, but they're not expensive supplies. It's not anything insane. You're going to need masking tape or painter's tape, and you're going to need to, you know, cut it up into little either rectangular or triangular shapes to mimic the camouflage pattern that Tom has done in his models, and you're going to need an airbrush. You will also need the paints in the video, although you could use other colors or washes if you prefer, and mix and match however you choose. I mean, obviously, if you guys want to do a different camo pattern with different colors, you can definitely do that with different paints, and they also don't have to be GW paints, they just have to be compatible with an airbrush. And there are tons of airbrushes available out there for relatively cheap. You can probably get one for around 20 bucks. They're not that expensive. Some of the lower end ones, again, are around 20 bucks. The higher end ones might be a little more expensive, but luckily for this painting tutorial, you don't need anything super high tech. You just need your basic airbrush. Okay, so without further ado, let us go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Tom's video is about a minute and 30 seconds, so it's not that long and it's just seven easy steps to painting some of the best ranger cloaks you will ever see in Warhammer 40k. So, let us begin. Wow. 
Okay, so that was an awesome tutorial. And what I really like about this tutorial is it breaks it down into simple and easy to understand steps. A lot of YouTube videos out there, you know, painting channels, stuff like that, will go into these really complex ways and really kind of in-depth kind of analysis and guides on how to paint something really cool. But this doesn't really take much freehand. It's all airbrush and it's fairly straightforward. So I really like this tutorial a whole lot for that. And as a painter myself, who doesn't really like to do a whole lot of freehand on their models, I like to keep it simple and clean. This was one of the best tutorials I've ever actually seen, even on YouTube, by the way. I've seen YouTube tutorials and stuff, and I think this small tutorial that Tom put together is better than those. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because he's a channel patron. I really do believe that this is a cutting edge and simple tutorial that, you know, will help a lot of members of the community. So... If that tutorial was cool to you or you liked what you saw or you just want to support a fellow Eldar player, definitely be sure to check out Tom's Instagram and give him a follow. I will leave the link down in the description. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you once again to all my patrons, including Tom, who have helped support the channel over the last months. Your help has improved the channel. We're almost to 2,500 followers. Let's keep going so that we can improve the Eldar community and make it a better place for everybody. I will go ahead and leave the link in the description for you. And just to let you guys know, free trials are activated, so it comes at no cost to you initially. And of course, if you do want to support in seven days, you're more than free to, and I would really appreciate the help. I'm also an Amazon affiliate and have a channel store page with Eldar Inspired Apparel that you can grab to wrap your local game store. So if you want to go ahead and grab some of that, you can check out the store page in the description, or if you want to get some discounted Eldar miniatures, you can always check out my Amazon affiliate link. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for today. Peace out. Have some great games this weekend, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody. See you later.